House of Bells, Pop Moms, Crack Nits, D Boss, Your Exodus, RR, G Vid is titled Cam Newton's Love Life is a Toxic Mess, Eight Kids by Three Women. That is insane. That is crazy. Let, let's see what's going on with this man and why he got all these damn kids by these women. Let's watch. <laughs> Since Cameron Jarrell Newton was seven, he wanted to get married, start a family, and buy a house with a oh, white picket fence. Wanted, he also happened. had a good example from his parents, who are still happily married. Wow. But as he got that's older, that's his life took a completely different turn. As of this video, he has eight children with three women, and the circumstances surrounding these relationships are messy as hell. Before we jump into today's video, <clears throat> Y'all buy her snacks. Here's some insight into this situation. We have to take you back to 2008 when Cam was a student at the University of Florida. At the time, he was dating a girl named Natalia Carr. He was arrested and charged with stealing another student's laptop. Oh. According to USA Today, Cam called the incident a it's low point in his life. You don't say. Damn, can't even go to school and act right. The charges were dropped when Cam completed a oh, pre-trial diversion crazy. program. He had no intention of being a model student, though. It was later reported that he faced expulsion after putting his name on another student's paper and turning it in. After getting caught by the instructor, Cam turned in a second paper, and the instructor later found out the paper had been purchased on the internet. Oh, yeah. He said, I write this paper. No school was going to involve studying and doing your own damn work. Instead of facing the music with the school's conduct committee, Cam transferred to Blinn College in Brenham, Texas in 2009. From there, he transferred to Auburn University, where he spent much of the 2010 football season embroiled in a controversy regarding allegations that his father, Cecil Newton, had requested up to $180,000 for Cam to play for Auburn, which was a violation of the NCAA rules. The NCAA later determined that it found no major violations in its investigation of Cam's recruitment at Auburn. He received many awards while playing football for Auburn, including the Heisman Trophy in 2010. While all this was going on, the hype surrounding his impending entrance into the NFL was dominating headlines. And naturally, the ladies wanted to know if he was single. In December 2010, someone sent Black Sports Online website pictures of Natalia and identified her as Cam's girlfriend. The insider stated they had been together off and on since Natalia was 16. The source added, Natalia Carr is a gorgeous rich girl who lives in Atlanta, Georgia. Her dad is a major developer in the city of Atlanta. Atlanta, and she hangs out amongst the elite. She recently got engaged to Cam well, six months ago. Uh -huh. So the insider was an Italian. <laughs> got he became the number one pick in the 2011 NFL draft. He signed a four year, $22 million deal with the Carolina Panthers, and immediately his life was put under a microscope. He told NBC Sports that it was hard to encounter genuine people due to his celebrity status. He added, Most of the time, I don't really give people a chance. I have a wall up. I'm always protecting who I am, thinking about my brand. I make it hard on people. His relationship with Natalia didn't last. Hollywood Street King blog reported that Cam dumped her for a stripper and a mm. mother of one named Shakia Kia Proctor. I'm in love with a stripper. <laughs> Y'all so messy. In a video on her YouTube channel, Kia said she lived in Maryland when they started dating, and she traveled back and forth between Maryland and Atlanta, where Cam owned a home. During an episode of his podcast, Cam said that initially, Kia never expressed a desire to get married, and he was fine with that. He immediately accepted Kia's daughter, Shakira, as his own. Later during an appearance on Club Shay Shay, Cam said he doesn't believe in referring to his partner's children as stepchildren. Kia found out she was pregnant, so she and her daughter packed up everything and moved from Maryland to Cam's home in Atlanta in 2015. She and Cam welcomed their son, Chosen Sebastian, in December 2015. They continued expanding their family, and Kia immediately got pregnant with a baby girl. While awaiting their daughter's arrival, Baller Alert obtained some screenshots showing Cam DMing a woman named Ramona Skye. Ramona later told Baller Alert blog that she told Cam she was married, but he kept messaging her relentlessly. He referred to her as Killa and told her that her husband was outdated. No, Ninja, knocking up women not married on is outdated, okay? Leave that wife alone. 
In the end, he attempted to arrange a lunch or dinner date for them in Atlanta, but Ramona kept blocking his shots left and right. People were 100% certain that the messages came from Cam because he's the only person on the internet that uses this dumbass font. Yeah, I'm like, why would it look like the hieroglyphics? <laughs> How do you even find font like that? His relationship with Kia continued on and their daughter, Sovereign Dior, Cambella, was born in 2017. After the couple's fourth child, a son named Kamidas Swain, was born in 2018, the Panthers announced the baby's birth on their official Instagram, and the comment section was in shambles. Online users criticized Cam for continuously getting Kia pregnant without solidifying their relationship and making her his wife. In a video on her YouTube channel, she expressed, I was never married, but the relationship, I thought it was going towards marriage. Yeah, after popping out all them kids moving towards marriage looks like putting the kids in the damn stroller and moving and rolling them to the courthouse. As for Cam, during a chat on his podcast, he said his high-profile job as an NFL quarterback prevented him from getting married. He said, Thing is, that person that I was while we were having children together, I couldn't be the best husband. I wasn't prepared to be a husband then. Okay. And the, the hourglass was shrinking for her. What? Then use a condom, nigga. I know you wasn't writing your own papers in high school, but you had to learn a little bit of biology. He went on to say that he was on Temptation Island during their relationship. And as a young football player, the word no wasn't in his vocabulary. In other words, he wasn't turning women down while Kia and their children were waiting for him at home. As he fell deeper into his own selfishness, their relationship began to deteriorate. Cam said Kia evolved as a woman and her standards changed. She started to tell him things like, I ain't just no baby mama. When she started putting more and more pressure on him to tie the knot, he said to himself, I don't know if this is what I really want. From there, he mentally checked out of the relationship. Do I have to insert a lesson right here or do y'all do y'all already see? You should never ever have to beg a man to marry you. This man is fine, <laughs> No promises. So no. I listen. I know girls were throwing it at him left and right. And you a rich, you an athlete, tall. I think he's fine. This man's fine. Babies, no. Now, mm, not so much. But back then, he can pop a baby into you. He can pop up with a ring. I don't give a damn if it's a candy ring. I don't give a damn if it's from Walmart. Ew. Find something to put on this finger and take me down to the damn courthouse. <laughs> and then we're gonna get a bigger ring later. They welcomed another child named oh, Cashmere goodness. Saint in 2019. Including Kia's daughter from a previous relationship, their new bundle of joy made Cam a father of five. The same year Kia oh, gave yeah, birth to Cam's Cam fifth child, he was caught DMing his number to a woman who goes by the name of Promise B. May. In the DMs, Cam reportedly denied his relationship with Kia. It appeared that by that point, Kia had had enough, and Cam was done with her ass as well. He started banging a mother of one named Lorena Shaw, and well, Lorena ended up getting pregnant. Yeah, what in the reckless life decisions is going on here? He had a baby outside of our relationship that I was not okay with. I'm not about to deal with this because I thought this, what we had, was something way more special than the way you're treating it. Kia said she chose herself and her children over what he was about to put her through. They broke up in 2019, and she immediately moved out of Cam's Atlanta home. He was later ordered to pay her $7,500 per month in child support. That's it? In an episode For all of the Pivot podcast, Cam accepted that he broke Kia's heart and destroyed oh their relationship. Later on during an episode of his podcast, he said Kia was the right person. They just met at the wrong time. He said that externally, their relationship was a lot like being married. However, internally, he wasn't feeling right. Kia was ready to go to the next level, but he was still going through the temptations of his life and he got caught. Lorena gave birth to his sixth child, Cesar Lorenzo, in July 2019. And because Cam accepted Lorena's eldest son as his own, he officially became a father of seven. He and Lorena dated for a bit, but eventually went their separate ways. In a 2022 episode of his podcast, he stated he wasn't romantically involved with any of the mothers of his children, but he pledged his unconditional support for them. He also said he was on the hunt for the perfect lady. Ninja, you need to be on the hunt for a perfect vasectomy. In an April 2022 appearance on Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast, Cam claimed that being from a two-parent household helped him distinguish between a woman and a bad bitch. He oh. added, now, a woman for me is handling your own but knowing how to cater to a man's needs. And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of, I'm a boss bitch, I'm a this, I'm a that, 
No, baby, but you can't cook. You don't know when to be quiet. You don't know how to allow a man to lead. And you don't know how to properly establish a family. Right, all these goddamn kids. And you ain't convinced that he's winning. But Cam doubled down on his opinion and said in a follow-up video that he was at peace with the criticism. He stepped out with his new girlfriend, comedian Jasmine Brown, in 2022. During a July 2022 appearance on the Lovers and Friends podcast, Jasmine stated her biggest flex was the way she took care of her man. She said, you know, like packing his bag, unpacking his bag. If I know you and I study you, I know how you are in the morning. Study I know you. how you are by midday. Before you can even ask me for something, I'm already on it. He's spoiled. She also explained how she allowed him to explore her Hershey Highway, even though Ew. she doesn't enjoy it. And this is why Cam hadn't married why any of the women he's been Because they all acted like wives before he made them wives. I'd be surprised if he married her ass. If he do, it's just going to be because he old, tired, and ran. In October 2023, Kim filed a court case to get Kim to return to 2017 to get people during the relationship. According to Kim, the car was in his name, and he allowed Kim to drive it all the way together. But in the event that their relationship didn't work out, she was supposed to get it back, but she allegedly wasn't doing so. They settled the case in 2024. And guess what, besties? While all that was going on, Kim got Jasmine pregnant. She gave birth to his eighth child, a baby girl, in March 2024. As of this video, Cam and Jasmine are still going strong. During an episode of his podcast, he said that they were in tune with each other, and there was absolutely no privacy in their relationship. He said, we got the saying where we're like, we're two retired thoughts that came together. We see both of our jerseys in the rafters. Hers got more dust on it than me. Mine recently just went up there. Um, uh, raise your hand if you really think Cam has retired his whole jersey. I'll wait. It's unknown Ew. how well he gets along. We both were hoes. We came together as hoes retired. They are Ew. Building a cordial co-parenting situation. Despite already having five children, Kia said on an episode of her YouTube channel that she wants one more child, but this oh. time she will make sure the baby is conceived with her future husband. Cam is also looking to have more children. However, as of August 2024, he has made it clear that he has a very low desire to get married due to his fear of divorce. Somebody call a therapist for this man. Well, that brings us to the end of this. Oh my goodness, this is a hot mess. I don't feel like he gets dragged enough. <laughs> I feel like women with multiple baby daddies and multiple kids, they get dragged through the mud. Like Joy, for example, I'm always saying negative things about her. Future and uh, Bow Wow's baby mama, they always on her head about having hella kids with different baby daddies. But Kim, I mean, I see things about him here and there, but this is ridiculous. And you were having unprotected sex with multiple women at one time. Like that's... That makes it even worse, bro. It's not just, oh, you move from one situation to the next. No, you literally are actively slinging raw penis to multiple women. Like, that's disgusting. But I guess, hopefully, you know, he he gets it together soon. Who knows, though? Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!